Okay, assalamu alaikum you guys. Um, for this video, I'm not doing no tutorial or nothing, but I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make argila, which is the hookah. Okay. So first, for the base, I added the water up to, as you can see, hold on. up to this line right here. And now to make, I'm going to add something else to it because to make the smoke thicker, we add a little bit of milk to the base. And that makes it just a little bit thicker so you can taste the flavor of your argila. Okay. And for Next, I would do the flavoring, which is the head. Make sure you clean it real good. And the flavor I'm using is the vanilla and pomegranate. Well, it's, it's really hard to get this open. Okay. Almost all out of this one. It's a really good flavor. That's me and my fiance's, like, main flavor, I guess. <laughs> one second. <laughs> Now, when you do um, the tobacco, make sure you have like no rings on, so I'm taking my ring off and like pull your sleeves up because it gets really messy. Now, when you do the flavoring, like make sure like there's no stems in them because then it won't hit. So I just take a little bit in my hand. Um, I'm going to use the other flavor because my fans will get very mad if I use all the good ones. Because that's his favorite one. So I'm going to use the sweet Malamingo flavor. Okay. So like I said, take a little bit in your hand. And just punch it in your hand. And when you do this, what I do is you should squeeze out all the juice. Like this, just start squeezing it, and it'll come out. You know, this makes it um, hit longer. If there's too much juice, it'll die, like burn out faster, basically. Okay. Then you sprinkle it into the head, which is what I'm doing right now. You can see one second. So watch me sprinkle it. Here we go, I keep sprinkling it. Make sure, and make sure when you sprinkle it, there's no stem, so if there's stems, it won't hit as much. And make sure all the corners are like blocked off, basically, you could say. I'm go over my computer. Okay. A few more spots that need to be filled. Okay. Now, once um, you're done with that, wipe your hands off, wash them, whatever you have to do. So, let me go wash my hands real quick. One second. Okay, just a quick hand wash real quick. Okay, now after you fill the head while you sprinkle it in, next would come the foil. And for the foil, we use the heavy duty frontals wrap. And so we cut a little piece off. So I can do it. I'll just cut all oh, totally wrong way. Then you would okay. Then you would get your hair scissors, cut the foil, just down the middle. I guess you can say. Okay, and you guys see how this is the shiny part, not so shiny. 
The shiny part always goes down on like the tobacco, the head, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you guys can watch me how I do it. Make sure it's very flat. And you gotta squeeze it to make sure. Perfect. Okay, then after that, you make sure you hold this like around the the head. Now, if you're a scarfy, you have a pen, so poke little holes everywhere. Don't use the big holes because it will burn out faster. So let me do my holes real quick. And you want to do the hole just everywhere on the foil, just so it hits. And you do not want to use cheap foil because it really does make a difference. Like the foil will burn, and like your tobacco will not even be burned out, and the hoop is done just because of how burnt the foil is on the head. So make sure you get like heavy duty foil when you do. Um, the argila, but if you do have crappy foil, you can layer it two times the foil and just poke holes in it, then it's fine. So, okay. Now after I'm done with this, one second, I'm gonna get everywhere. Okay. This is how it will look with the holes, if you can see them, it's kind of everywhere. Okay. Next. I don't know if you can see my Argila. Right, okay. Okay, next comes this part. Where? Well, first, I forgot to tell you guys, you're supposed to blow to it, so. You blow through it like two times just to make the air go through. You place it you put where this piece is, the rubber piece, you place it right on there. Okay, make sure it's tight. Then you would get your hose. Now, like these are these ones are like the good hoses. They're not the washable ones. The washable ones are like really crappy. And for a good hose, make sure like when you smoke it, like, the mouthpiece I guess is this one because that one's like the best. If it's too big, then you won't get a lot of smoke. So now. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here, and the rubber piece is on the argilla already for that part. And then after, you would one second. Okay, you would get your tongs right here. Get your hot ham, which is the charcoal for the argilla. And I'll explain the charcoal after I'm done, like which brand I use. I just want to get this good for you guys. Okay. Now, if you're at home, you're gonna use like a lighter or whatever. And for the charcoal, you don't like the top; you like the bottom of it. Cause I see a lot of people who like the top. So, so here I am lighting the bottom. It sparks. Okay, then I start shaking it so the sparks like go off a little bit. Alright, you just blow on it for a little bit. Okay, so then I place it like on a good corner where they're like I did the holes at. Then, so there's no starter. Like I know at like the hookah bars they have a starter where you just start it and you can just smoke it. No, since we don't have that, if you're at home, you just have to hit it like a few times like this. This is how you start it.
takes about a minute or two to start the Google at your house if you don't have a starter. And that's how you make the argila. Um, now for the faham. Okay. For the faham that I, char sorry, um, the charcoal that I use is the, what is it, the Three Kings is what it's called. I buy the box for like $10 in Dearborn. Um, you can buy them um, individually, which they come like this, but it's not worth it because some places charge it charge three dollars or a dollar fifty for each one and like a box is ten dollars so it's just cheaper to buy it that way um okay that's it for my video um i'm gonna go enjoy my regular you know um so bye